So up next is our fun things. Yay, fun! Now, where do we start? Mm. Yep. Well, this isn't really properly um, organized yet, but let me just show you how colorful my fun stuff is, right? So if we would start from here to, to the left, let's start with uh, my beach pants. Pretty seasonal, but... I'm keeping them because I love them worn with tank tops, you know, basic when they go to the beach and wear bikinis with tops. Yeah. This is a very old pair of leggings. 2012. <laughs> Can't let go. This one, uh, pretty, I think this is a prototype. Maybe I'm putting it in my prototype bin. Yeah. Okay. So here, although these are my are also prototypes. These blazers, which some of you know I have made for tutorials. For my uh, blazer tutorial, I think. Did I, even, I think this is the one I made. Mm. The other ones I've given away. Like a bajillion other prototypes I've given away. <laughs> And okay, to its right is this. Um, these are my Maruha, Maruha dresses, slip dresses that I made in 2019. I started making in 2019. I still have a, quite a few fabrics of this, so I can still make one if you like. Just DM me, okay? So this is a prototype of the Maruha as well. Pretty. This is pretty. I mean, this is gorgeous. This is, uh, yeah, I really love this, this, um, fabric too. And these fun tank tops. Pretty much, I mean, t tank dresses. I mean, tanks are, have this basic silhouette, but these colors are just fabulous during, like, when you're taking photo shoots. These colors just pop. Beautiful. And this one um, is a, a cover-up. Yep, I call this Barakai cover-up. Very pretty in beach photo shoots. Okay, so this part here are just wide leg pants for... I think this is a prototype as well. Yeah, it is. Mm, no, sewing, sewn in a, by a sewing machine, but this was for a tutorial. Paired with this, no, sorry, this stuff, yes, which I will talk about later. So, yeah, fun stuff. I'm not considering this basic, although it has black and some white, yeah, white-ish parts of it. Yeah, and it's kind of tan because it's not easy to pair with. And you can't pair it with just anything. Very hard. Hard to the eyes. I'm very particular with that. <laughs> and these fun, fun skirts. Yeah. Oh, Hanari. Hanari ones. Hanari maxi dresses. Love this. This was a bestseller in the shop, over at the shop. Very pretty when taking a picture, when you're, when you're taking photographs. Very pretty colors. Mm, next up, oh, this Lola jumpsuit. Lola jumpsuit. Love. Very evening kind of wear, but just 
Uh, I'm so excited to take photo shoots, to get a photo shoot. Because, because of just, you know, digging into this. This is the, oh my god, I forgot how to call this. My, oh, I forgot. Um, but I remember bringing this piece to Japan when I travel. I'll pull up some photo and put it somewhere here. And ah, my 2011-ish creations for Momoko. Oh my god, look at that, I hand sewn. Not everything, but I hand sewn the zipper. Crazy. But, wow, I miss making clothes like this. This is, I love this, I love this print so much. I love all my prints really. <laughs> As you can see, most of these are prints, right? <laughs> So, up next. Ah, the daisies. Midnight daisies because this is midnight blue. In the background, yeah, daisies. On, on the daisy flowers. Yep. I love this. Very summer. Summer, summer, summer fun. What else? We go down here. I don't consider this basics because, um... See, it's kind of basic, but... It's not easy to pair with, so... It's fun to me. It's a fun stuff to me. Like, it can stand on its own. I could just wear it with something basic, like basic shoes. And they're cool. So, yep. Dresses again. Old ones. 2015. Shift. No, um, no, there's no shift. Sheath. A sheath dress. For Christmas diorama. Ah, my one of, one of my very first doll dresses. The Aya design. The Aya dress. I love this print too. Face lace. I love face lace. Very relaxing. And another one from a Christmas Diorama, I believe. A shift dress, a sleeve, a sleeveless, a sleeveless shift dress. Another sheath dress. Another shift dress. <gasps> ah, oh my god. Very old. Hand sewn, I believe. This was hand sewn. Oh, it's for my momoko. I love this. Oh, this. Another fun stuff. You know, pin up. Fun. 50s. Vintage look. Speaking of vintage, it's another vintage. That I hand sewn for a tutorial. And one more dress that I made recently for my puppy. Newly acquired puppy Parker doll. I should make more dresses of her. You know what's going on with, with the fashion scene. Make me... Puff, 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 sleeves everywhere. And down here, yeah, where were, where were we? Here, so tops, 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 fun tops. This um, tie front, I love it. Another tie front. Another tie front, oh, I'm a tie front girl. Let me just summon up all the tie fronts in the world. Another tie front. <laughs> Else. Oh my god, I have so many tie fronts. Tie, tie, tie. Okay, that's all. Maybe one more. Yeah, here. And I have halters. This halter top. Yeah, this is a nice one for the beach. And yeah, this is another halter top. I made this for my curvy girl. I paired it with this. It's cute, right? And of course, my cami cami tops cami the vinta cami love this print and another one that different print pattern i mean different placement that is and then yes our peasant gathered gathered sleeves kind of top Another one, Froki. This was a bestseller, but I only have so little fabric of this. I may remake this in another fun fabric soon for summer. No, oh, another another top, Hanari top. Ah, <laughs> sorry. Another one of my bajillion 
time fronts. And oh, this is like um, a paplom top base. I just made it a paplom top, but it's really based from my wrap dress pattern. Um, the bodysuit. Sorry, I can't like make it look pretty right now because it's like just. Uh, there you go. Yeah, some of you know this. And the tutorial I made for the bodysuit. Um, yeah, that's for the tops. Oh, there's another one. An old summer favorite. Oh, I forgot wh what I called this. But yeah, this pairs with a uh, matching short. And then we move on to shorts. Fun shorts. Bananas. Bananas print. Bananas print. Number two. <laughs> Strawberry print. This one. Khaki. Ooh, khaki should go to the basics bin. Basics bin. There you go. Okay, this is um, periwinkle. Lilac. No, no, no. Um, this is the periwinkle. An old one. Um, bubble, bubble shirts for my mama clothes. Very old as well, this one. <gasps> I remember. I remember this. Um, I was. I'll put some old picture somewhere around here. But this one? Dude, one of the first few shorts I made uh, when I was like dressing them up for a Coachella, Coachella something. Yeah, I love the prints. Ah, those days, so fun to reminisce. And then, yeah, other fun shorts. This is this is actually from my Cotton Candy City Shorts collection. I still have those fabrics. I may revive that series. So. I don't have the yellow. Where's the yellow? I probably gave it away. I probably did. Why? Why did I? Maybe I'm gonna make a new one. <laughs> I'm crazy. Anyway, so a couple more of the strawberry shorts. Fun. Fun shorts. Of course, there's a couple more hiding. <laughs> These are old too. These are actually older shorts I made. Like 2012, 2013 perhaps. Ooh, look, look at these. Look at this, this um, feature, what am, uh, no, this, look at that, I think I used, let's see what's inside, I'm quite curious, I probably use another, okay, so I used um, that um, rayon stretch fabric that I use for leggings, ass a pocket, pocket, lining sorts. Ah, that looks fun. That's probably the reason why I can't let go of it. And next, bodysuit. Oh, bodysuit. Another bodysuit. Okay, let's put that here. <laughs> and pullovers. This is old too, like 2014. Old-ish, 2015, that can't let go. Very cozy. And a couple more. This, I think, is a prototype. This was, this was a fun this was a very, this was a very popular tutorial, and it tells my my tutorial and patterns for this pullover is really still going strong. I mean, I mean, it's funny to make a pullover hoodie shirt, right? Okay, so I think that's all I have for my fun pieces, and I'm gonna organize. I'm gonna organize them. According to hmm, type of clothing, like blazers, dresses, dresses, pants, skirts. Well, dresses, yeah, they should go there. Tops, bodysuits, tops, 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 and shorts. Yeah. So I'm so excited to create, I mean, build, craft a working working um, closet closet that is because you know picking things from this bin isn't really as helpful or isn't as effective efficient or whatever the word is I really think that I should be designing something that's easy to use easy to see all these pieces so that you don't forget about them you don't you don't forget that you have these wonderful pieces uh, buried deep down in your bins, if you know what I mean. So, sorry, I can 
really articulate enough what I wanted to say but yeah if you get me you're a genius <laughs> so yeah I will on my next post I will update you guys on how I designed how I will come up with uh, my working closet um, when I say working closet like I said earlier it should be it should be easy to use you can see everything in one go so that you know as stylists wow stylists as stylists or at least all stylists it should be everything we need should be within reach so that you're not like bound to whatever you're not limited Ugh, yeah okay so that's it for today I'll probably purge a bit of this and give some to my 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 cousin's daughters too but we'll see we'll see okay so thanks for watching guys bye oops wait before I really really go please comment below if you like these kinds of videos or if you want to suggest things for improvement please do so because I know I'm so terrible at this so I'll need all the help I can get all right okay gotta go now for real haha <laughs> see you in the next one bye